The RIM-161 Standard Missile 3, SM-3, is a ship-based surface-to-air missile system used by the United States Navy to intercept short- and intermediate-range ballistic missiles as a part of Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. Although primarily designed as an anti-ballistic missile, the SM-3 has also been employed in an anti-satellite capacity against a satellite at the lower end of low Earth orbit. The SM-3 is primarily used and tested by the United States Navy and also operated by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Motivation and Development The SM-3 evolved from the proven SM-2 Block 4 design. The SM-3 uses the same solid rocket booster and dual-thrust rocket motor as the Block 4 missile for the first and second stages and the same steering control section and mid-course missile guidance for maneuvering in the atmosphere. To support the extended range of an exo-atmospheric intercept, additional missile thrust is provided in a new third stage for the SM-3 missile, containing a dual-pulse rocket motor for the early exo-atmospheric phase of flight. Initial work was done to adapt SM-3 for land deployment, Aegis ashore, to especially accommodate the Israelis, but they then chose to pursue their own system, the NATO codename Arrow 3. A group in the Obama administration envisioned a European Phased Adaptive Approach EPAA, and SM-3 was chosen as the main vector of this effort because the competing U.S. Todd does not have enough range and would have required too many sites in Europe to provide adequate coverage. Compared to the GMD's ground-based interceptor however, the SM-3 Block I has about one-fifth to one-sixth of the range. A significant improvement in this respect, the SM-3 Block II variant widens the missile's diameter from 0.34 meters (13.5 in) to 0.53 meters (21 in), making it more suitable against intermediate-range ballistic missiles. The highly modified Block IA missile shares only the first stage motor with the Block I. The Block IA was designed to allow for Japan to protect against a North Korean attack with fewer deployed ships, but it is also the key element of the EPA Phase III deployment in Europe. The Block IA is being jointly developed by Raytheon and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The latter manages the third stage rocket motor and nose cone. The U.S. budgeted cost to date is $1.51 billion for the Block IA. Specifications It is manufactured by Raytheon, Aerojet, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for the Block IA. It has been in service since 2014 present. The unit cost of the SM 3 missile is $11.83 million. The mass of the missile is 1.5 tons. The wingspan of the SM-3 missile is 1.57 meters, 62 in. The length of the SM-3 missile is 6.55 meters, 21 feet 6 in. Warhead used is the lightweight exo-atmospheric projectile, LEAP, kinetic warhead. Guidance system used is the GPS-INS-Semi-Active Radar Homing-Passive or Infrared Homing Seeker, KW. Maximum speed of the missile is 3 km per second, Mach 8.8, .8, Block IA and B, and 4.5 km per second, Mach 13.2, Block IA. The SM-3 missile range is Block IA B, 900 to 1200 km, 560 miles, and Block IA, 1200 km range and flight ceiling 900 to 1050 km, depending on the type of target. Operation and Performance the ships and slash SPY-1 radar finds the ballistic missile target and the Aegis weapon system calculates a solution on the target. When the missile is ordered to launch, the Aerojet MK-72 solid fuel rocket booster launches the SM-3 out of the ship's Mark 41 vertical launching system, VLS. The missile then establishes communication with the launching ship. Once the booster burns out, it detaches, and the Aerojet MK-104 solid fuel dual thrust rocket motor, DTRM, takes over propulsion through the atmosphere. The missile continues to receive mid-course guidance information from the launching ship and is aided by GPS data. The ATK MK-136 solid fueled third-stage rocket motor TSRM, fires after the second stage burns out, and it takes the missile above the atmosphere, if needed. The TSRM is pulse-fired and provides propulsion for the SM-3 until 30 seconds to intercept. At that point the third stage separates, and the lightweight exo-atmospheric projectile LEAP, kinetic warhead KW, begins to search for the target using pointing data from the launching ship. The Aerojet Throttleable Divert and Attitude Control System DAX, allows the kinetic warhead to maneuver in the final phase of the engagement. The KW sensors identify the target, attempt to identify the most lethal part of the target and steers the KW to that point. If the KW intercepts the target, it provides 130 megajoules, 96 million feet LBF, 31 kilograms of TNT, of kinetic energy at the point of impact. Independent studies by some physics experts have raised some significant questions about the missile's success rate in hitting targets. 
In a published response, the Defense Department claimed that these findings were invalid, as the analysts used some early launches as their data, when those launches were not significant to the overall program. The DoD stated, the first tests, used, prototype interceptors. Expensive mock warheads weren't used in the test since specific lethality capability wasn't a test objective, the objective was to hit the target missile. Contrary to the assertions of Postal and Lewis, all three tests resulted in successful target hits with the unitary ballistic missile target destroyed. This provided empirical evidence that ballistic missile intercepts could in fact be accomplished at sea using interceptors launched from Aegis ships. On October 26, 2018, USS John Paul Jones detected and tracked a medium-range ballistic missile target with its Aegis missile defense system, launched an SM-3 Blockia interceptor, and destroyed its target, which was launched from the Pacific Missile Range Facility at Kauai, Hawaii. On November 16, 2020, an SM-3 Blockia successfully intercepted a simulated intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, target for the first time. The test was congressionally mandated and originally scheduled for May 2020 but was delayed due to COVID-19 restrictions. An ICBM T-2 threat representative target was launched from the Ronald Reagan Ballistic Missile Defense Test Site on Kwajalein Atoll toward the ocean area northeast of Hawaii. The USS John Finn, DDG-113, used off-board sensors through the Command and Control Battle Management Communications, C2BMC, network to track it and then launch an interceptor to destroy the threat. The test demonstrated the SM-3's ability to counter ICBMs and, because of the Aegis radar's limited detection and tracking range relative to the interceptor, showed how the C2BMC network can increase the area that could be defended using engage on remote capabilities. Variants The SM-3 Blockia version provides an incremental upgrade to improve reliability and maintainability at a reduced cost. The SM-3 Block IB, due in 2010, offers upgrades which include an advanced two-color infrared seeker, and a 10-thruster solid throttling divert and attitude control system, DAX slash STAX, on the kill vehicle to give it improved capability against maneuvering ballistic missiles or warheads. Solid DAX is a joint Raytheon slash Aerojet project, but Boeing supplies some components of the kinetic warhead. With Block IB and associated ship-based upgrades, the Navy gains the ability to defend against medium-range missiles and some intermediate-range ballistic missiles. SM-3 Block II will widen the missile body to 21 in, 530 mm, and decrease the size of the maneuvering fins. It will still fit in MK-41 vertical launch systems, and the missile will be faster and of longer range. The SM-3 Blockia is a joint Raytheon slash Mitsubishi Heavy Industries project. Blockia will add a larger diameter kill vehicle that is more maneuverable, and carries another sensor slash discrimination upgrade. It was scheduled to debut around 2015, whereupon the Navy will have a weapon that can engage some intercontinental ballistic missiles. Table sources, reference material of further SM-3 Block IIB was conceived for fielding in Europe around 2022. In March 2013, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel announced that the development program of the SM-3 Block IIB, also known as the Next Generation Aegis Missile, NGAM, was undergoing restructuring. Under Secretary James N. Miller was quoted saying that we no longer intend to add them, SM-3 Block IIB, to the mix, but will continue to have the same number of deployed interceptors in Poland that will provide coverage for all of NATO and Europe, explaining that Poland is scheduled instead for the deployment of about 24 SM-3 interceptors, same timeline, same footprint of you. S. Forces to support that. A U.S. defense official was quoted saying that the SM-3 IIB Phase 4 interceptors that we are now not going to pursue never existed other than on power points, it was a design objective. Daniel Nexon connected the backpedaling of the administration on the block IIB development with pre-election promises made by Obama to Dmitry Medvedev. Pentagon spokesman George E. Little denied however that Russian objections played any part in the decision. The SM-3 is a beast in its own class and America's enemies will have to seriously consider it before making any moves on the military. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care.